snoozecast.com and follow us on Instagram at snoozecast to find behind the scenes content. If you would like to get an email once a week with upcoming sleep stories and other news, subscribe to this newsletter at snoozecast.com. This episode is brought to you by our Patreon supporters and by Aromatic Drinks. Tonight, we'll read from Chocolate and Cocoa Recipes by Miss Parloa The Maya believed that cacao was discovered by the gods in a mountain along with other delectable foods for their divine use. According to Maya mythology, the plumed serpent gave cacao to the Maya after humans were created by the divine grandmother goddess. get cozy. Close your eyes. Relax your body into the softness of your bed. Now, take a few deep The term cocoa, derived from cacao, is almost universally used in English-speaking countries to designate the seeds of the small, tropical tree known to botanists as Theobroma cacao, from which a great variety of preparations under the name of cocoa and chocolate for eating and drinking are made. The name Chocolatel is nearly the same in most European languages and is taken from the Mexican name of the drink. The Mexicans not only used chocolate as a staple article of food, but they used the seeds of the cacao tree as a medium of exchange. It is a perfect food, as wholesome as delicious a beneficial restorer of exhausted power, but its quality must be good and it must be carefully prepared. It is highly nourishing and easily digested and is fitted to repair wasted strength, preserve health, and prolong life. It agrees with dry temperaments and convalescence, with mothers who nurse their children, with those whose occupations oblige them to undergo severe mental strains, with public speakers, and with all those who give to work a portion of the time needed for sleep. It soothes both stomach and brain, and for this reason, as well as for others, it is the best friend of those engaged in literary pursuits. The Spanish ladies of the New World, it is said, carried their love for chocolate to such a degree that, not content with partaking of it several times a day, they had it sometimes carried after them to church. This favoring of the senses often drew upon them the censures of the bishop, but the Reverend Father Escobar, whose metaphysics were as subtle as his morality was accommodating, declared, formally, that a fast was not broken by chocolate prepared with water. The people who make constant use of chocolate are the ones who enjoy the most steady health, 
and are the least subject to a multitude of little ailments which destroy the comfort of life. Their plumpness is also more equal. These are two advantages which everyone may verify among his own friends and wherever the practice is in use. Before chocolate was known in Europe, good old wine was called the milk of old men. But this title is now applied with greater reason to chocolate, since its use has become so common that it has been perceived that chocolate is, with respect to them, what milk is to infants. In reality, if one examines the nature of chocolate a little, with respect to the constitution of aged persons, it seems as though the one was made on purpose to remedy the other, and that it is truly the panacea of old age. The three associated beverages, cocoa, tea, and coffee, are known to the French as aromatic drinks. Each of these has its characteristic aroma. The fragrance and flavor are so marked that they cannot be imitated by any artificial products, although numerous attempts have been made in regard to all three. A few suggestions in regard to chocolate. The best flavor to add to chocolate is vanilla. Next to that, cinnamon. Beyond these two things, one should use great caution as it is very easy to spoil the fine natural flavor of the bean. Chocolate absorbs odors readily. Therefore, it should be kept in a pure, sweet atmosphere. Refreshing drinks for summer. Put into a tumbler about two tablespoons of broken ice, two tablespoons of chocolate syrup, three tablespoons fulls of whipped cream, one gill of milk, and half a gill of soda water from a siphon bottle or mineral water. Stir well before drinking. A tablespoonful of vanilla ice cream is a desirable addition. It is a delicious drink, even if the soda or mineral water and ice cream be omitted. A plainer drink is made by combining the syrup, a gill and a half of milk, and the ice, and shaking well. Plain Drinking Chocolate For six people, use one quart of milk, two ounces of premium chocolate, one tablespoonful of cornstarch, three tablespoons full of sugar, and two tablespoonfuls of hot water. Mix the cornstarch with one gill of the milk. Put the remainder of the milk on the heat in the double boiler. When the milk comes to the boiling point, stir in the cornstarch and cook for 10 minutes. Have the chocolate cut in fine bits and put it in a small iron or granite ware pan. Add the sugar and water and place the pan over a hot fire. Stir constantly until the mixture is smooth and glossy. Add this to the hot milk and beat the mixture with a whisk until it is frothy. Or the chocolate may be poured back and forth from the boiler to a pitcher, holding high the vessel from which you pour. This will give a thick froth. Serve at once. If you prefer not to have the chocolate thick, omit the cornstarch. If condensed milk is used, 
substitute water for the milk named above, and add three tablespoonfuls of condensed milk when the chocolate is added. Drinking Chocolate, Vienna Style Use four ounces of vanilla chocolate, one quart of milk, three tablespoonfuls of hot water, and one tablespoonful of sugar. Cut the chocolate in fine bits. Put the milk on the stove in the double boiler, and when it has been heated to the boiling point, put the chocolate, sugar, and water in a small iron or granite ware pan, and smooth and stir over a hot fire until glossy. Stir this mixture into the hot milk and beat well with a whisk. Serve at once, putting a tablespoonful of whipped cream in each cup and then filling up with the chocolate. The plain chocolate may be used instead of the vanilla, but in that case, use a teaspoonful of vanilla extract and three generous tablespoonfuls of sugar instead of one. Breakfast Cocoa Breakfast cocoa is powdered so fine that it can be dissolved by pouring boiling water on it. For this reason, it is often prepared at the table. A small teaspoonful of the powder is put in the cup with a teaspoonful of sugar. On this is poured two-thirds of a cup of boiling water, and milk or cream is added to suit the individual taste. This is very convenient, but cocoa is not nearly so good when prepared in this manner as when it is boiled. For six cupfuls of cocoa, use two tablespoonfuls of the powder, two tablespoonfuls of sugar, half a pint of boiling water, and a pint and a half of milk. Put the milk on the stove in the double boiler. Put the cocoa and sugar in a saucepan and gradually pour the hot water upon them, stirring all the time. Place the saucepan on the fire and stir until the contents boil. Let this mixture boil for five minutes, then add the boiling milk and serve. A gill of cream is a great addition to this cocoa. Scalded milk may be used in place of boiled milk, if preferred. For flavoring, a few grains of salt and a half a teaspoonful of vanilla extract may be added. Chocolate Cake For two sheets of cake, use three ounces of chocolate, three eggs, one cupful and three-fourths of sifted pastry flour, one cupful and three-fourths of sugar, half a cupful of butter, half a cupful of milk, half a teaspoonful of vanilla extract, one teaspoonful and a half of baking powder. Grate the chocolate, beat the butter to a cream, and gradually beat in the sugar. Beat in the milk and vanilla, then the eggs, already well beaten, next the chocolate, and finally the flour, in which the baking powder should be mixed. Pour into two well-buttered, shallow cake pans. Bake for 25 minutes, in a moderate oven, frost or not, as you like. Chocolate Biscuit Cover three large baking pans with paper that has been well oiled with washed butter. Over these, dredge powdered sugar. Melt in a cup one ounce of chocolate. 
Separate the whites and yolks of four eggs. Add to the yolks a generous half cupful of powdered sugar and beat until light and firm. Add the melted chocolate and beat a few minutes longer. Beat the whites of the eggs to a stiff, dry froth. Measure out three-fourths of a cupful of sifted flour and stir it and the whites into the yolks. The whites and flour must be cut in as lightly as possible and with very little stirring. Drop the mixture in teaspoonfuls on the buttered paper. Sprinkle powdered sugar over the cakes and bake in a slow oven for about 14 or 15 minutes. The mixture can be shaped like lady fingers if preferred. Chocolate Wafers Grate four ounces of chocolate and mix with it two tablespoonfuls of flour and one-fourth of a teaspoonful each of cinnamon, cloves, and baking powder. Separate six eggs. Add one cupful of powdered sugar to the yolks and beat until very light. Then add the grated yellow rind and the juice of half a lemon and beat five minutes longer. Now add the dry mixture and with a spoon lightly cut in the whites, which are first to be beaten to a stiff froth. Pour the mixture into buttered, shallow pans, having it about half an inch thick. Bake in a moderate oven for half an hour. When the cake is cool, spread a thin layer of currant jelly over one sheet and place the other sheet on this. Ice with vanilla icing. And when this hardens, cut in squares. It is particularly nice to serve with ice cream. Chocolate Cookies Beat to a cream half a cupful of butter and one tablespoonful of lard. Gradually beat into this one cupful of sugar. Then add one-fourth of a teaspoonful of salt, one teaspoonful of cinnamon, and two ounces of chocolate, melted. Now add one well-beaten egg and half a teaspoonful of soda dissolved in two tablespoonfuls of milk. Stir in about two cupfuls and a half of flour. Roll thin and, cutting in round cakes, bake in a rather quick oven. The secret of making good cookies is the use of a little flour, as will suffice. Chocolate Gingerbread Mix in a large bowl, one cupful of molasses, half a cupful of sour milk or cream, one teaspoonful of ginger, one of cinnamon, half a teaspoonful of salt. Dissolve one teaspoonful of soda in a teaspoonful of cold water. Add this and two tablespoonfuls of melted butter to the mixture. Now stir in two cupfuls of sifted flour and finally add two ounces of chocolate and one tablespoonful of butter melted together. Pour the mixture into three well-buttered, deep tin plates and bake in a moderately hot oven for about 20 minutes. Vanilla Icing 
Break the white of one large egg into a bowl and gradually beat into it one cupful of confectioner's sugar. Beat for three minutes. Add half a teaspoonful of vanilla extract and spread thinly on the cakes. Chocolate icing. Make a vanilla icing and add one tablespoonful of cold water to it. Scrape fine one ounce of chocolate and put it in a small iron or granite ware saucepan with two tablespoonfuls of confectioner's sugar and one tablespoonful of hot water. Stir over a hot fire until smooth and glossy. Then add another tablespoonful of hot water. Stir the dissolved chocolate into the vanilla icing. Chocolate ice cream. For about two quarts and a half of cream, use a pint and a half of milk, a quart of thin cream, two cupfuls of sugar, two ounces of chocolate, two eggs, and two heaping tablespoonfuls of flour. Put the milk on to boil in a double boiler. Put the flour and one cupful of the sugar in a bowl. Add the eggs and beat the mixture until light. Stir this into the boiling milk and cook for 20 minutes, stirring often. Scrape the chocolate and put it in a small saucepan. Add four tablespoonfuls of sugar, which should be taken from the second cupful, and two tablespoonfuls of hot water. Stir over a hot fire until smooth and glossy. Add this to the cooking mixture. When the preparation has cooked for 20 minutes, take it from the fire and add the remainder of the sugar and the cream, which should be gradually beaten into the hot mixture. Set away to cool, and when cold, freeze. Chocolate Cream Pies Beat to a cream half a cupful of butter and a cupful and a quarter of powdered sugar. Add two well-beaten eggs, two tablespoonfuls of wine, half a cupful of milk, and a cupful and a half of sifted flour, with which has been mixed a teaspoonful and a half of baking powder. Bake this in four well-buttered, deep, tin plates for about 15 minutes in a moderate oven. Put half a pint of milk in the double boiler and on the fire. Beat together the yolks of two eggs, three tablespoonfuls of powdered sugar, and a level tablespoonful of flour. Stir this mixture into the boiling milk beating well. Add one-sixth of a teaspoonful of salt and cook for 15 minutes, stirring often. When cooked, flavor with half a teaspoonful of vanilla extract. Put two of the cakes on two large plates. Spread the cream over them and lay the other two cakes on top. Beat the whites of the two eggs to a stiff froth and then beat them into one cupful of powdered sugar and one teaspoonful of vanilla. Shave one ounce of chocolate and put it in a small saucepan with two tablespoonfuls of sugar and one tablespoonful of boiling water. Stir over a hot fire until smooth and glossy. 
Now add three tablespoonfuls of cream or milk and stir into the beaten egg and sugar. Spread on the pies and set away for a few hours. Chocolate Mousse Put a three-quart mold in a wooden pail, first lining the bottom with fine ice and a thin layer of coarse salt. Pack the space between the mold and the pail solidly with fine ice and coarse salt, using two quarts of salt and ice enough to fill the space. Whip one quart of cream and drain it in a sieve. Whip again all the cream that drains through. Put in a small pan, one ounce of chocolate, three tablespoonfuls of sugar, and one of boiling water, and stir over a hot fire until smooth and glossy. Add three tablespoonfuls of cream. Sprinkle a cupful of powdered sugar over the whipped cream. Pour the chocolate in a thin stream into the cream and stir gently until well mixed. Wipe out the chilled mold and turn the cream into it. Cover and then place a little ice lightly on top. Wet a piece of carpet in water and cover the top of the pail. Set away for three or four hours. Then take the mold from the ice, dip it in cold water, wipe, and then turn the mousse out on a flat dish. Chocolate Charlotte Soak a quarter of a package of gelatin in one-third of a cupful of cold water for two hours. Whip one pint of cream to a froth and put it in a bowl, which should be placed in a pan of ice water. Put half an ounce of shaved chocolate in a small pan with two tablespoonfuls of sugar and one of boiling water and stir over the hot fire until smooth and glossy. Add to this a gill of hot milk and the soaked gelatin and stir until the gelatin is dissolved. Sprinkle a generous half cupful of powdered sugar over the cream. Now add the chocolate and gelatin mixture and stir gently until it begins to thicken. Line a quart chocolate charlotte mold with lady fingers. And when the cream is so thick that it will just pour, turn it gently into the mold. Place the charlotte in a cold place for an hour or more. And... At serving time, turn out on a flat dish. Chocolate Bavarian Cream For one large mold of cream, use half a package of gelatin, one gill of milk, two quarts of whipped cream, one gill of sugar, 
and two and a half ounces of chocolate. Soak the gelatin in cold water for two hours. Whip and drain the cream. Scrape the chocolate and put the milk on to boil. Put the chocolate, two tablespoonfuls of sugar, and one of hot water in a small saucepan and stir on a hot fire until smooth and glossy.